about 10 days ago some a YouTube user by the name of Wolf Snyder 888 sent me a video and asked me to consider its contents and um, I've had a look at your video Mr. Wolf Snyder Eight eight eight. This is one long argument from ignorance. One more, one long argument appeal to authority. One long argument from personal experience. Why have I said that already? It's one large argument from special pleading. It is unconvincing. You, you, seriously, you expect me to be convinced just because some Christian managed to convert himself to a, to Islam, and as such, I should be convinced. This guy Yusuf Estes actually makes the claim that the Quran predicts the Big Bang. I assume you're referring to Surah 5147. With power and skill did we construct the firmament, for it is we who create the vastness of space. We have built the heaven with might, and we it is who make the vast extent thereof. And the heaven, we raised it high with power, and most surely we are the makers of things ample. And there's another quote as well. Uh, it is the one that says the earth and heavens were once one, and we clove them asunder. That's also in the Quran as well. Uh, you claim this is a good argument for Islam? Seriously? If I made the assertion that my great 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 grandmother queefed the universe out of a pussy one evening, that has as much weight as this. I'm stupid. Um, in essence, unconvincing. Try again. I need something a lot, lot more than this. Just one final point, Wolf Snyder eight eight eight. Extraordinary claims, and making a claim that a man was dict dictated the word of God in a cave by an angel and they managed to remember every single word for some years. That is an extraordinary claim. Such extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Just saying that some bloke actually heard the words of the Archangel Gabriel and wrote them down in one thick bloody great big book is not evidence. You're making an assertion without evidence. It ain't good enough.